What's up, gang gang? It's your boy Ray, and let's get to these reactions. So guys, have you ever like seen a fight between a really buff guy who's been pushing the weights, he got veins and everything, and then he's like, yo, meet me outside at four o'clock. And then he fights this little skinny guy, and this little skinny guy whoops his ass. Like, dead ass. Beats him so bad, it's ridiculous. You feel sorry for the big guy, right? Anyways, today we're gonna find out who fights better, like who hits harder, who punches, who who hits like a like a man. <laughs> and yeah, like I mean, I I wonder this question a lot. It's about time I find out. So we're gonna find out who who's a better fighter, right? Between these two guys, uh, a bodybuilder and a, a, a skinny little cat like me. Well, I'm not that skinny, but you know what I mean, right? So yeah, without no further ado, guys, look at this guy. Let's go, let's see what's up. What often fascinates people is where the bodybuilders can fight. How By the way, link in the description to the original video. You know what time it is. It was real bodybuilding for real street fighting. The truth is, is I am twice your size, whether you want to admit it or not, I am twice your size and- Look at these you arms. Know, that I definitely would have an advantage in the fight. People always debate. Who's better in a real street fight? A bodybuilder or a skinny guy? How much you weigh, Ron? 127. Look at his arms. <laughs> wait, wait, how much? 127. Kilograms? Ow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. He's 127 pounds, all right? And I like his belt. But he looks disgusting. Your size, I'm playing, I'm playing. Muscle. He looks good. Let's face it. Big guys look intimidating, but can they generate enough power to punch oh my hard God. enough to hurt you? Sure. You can be strong, but does that mean you can punch harder and faster than a skinny guy? Harder for sure. You think I could break a, a, a freaking watermelon? No way. It will break me. The answer to this oh may God. partly answer the main question. Does having more body mass mean that you will be better off in a real fight? Well, today we're going to look at the science and the logic behind the argument that bodybuilders can fight. For sure. It's like fighting a little kid who's tall. Real fighting requires a lot of energy, both physically and psychologically. Ordinarily, you'll drain very quickly. In fact, more muscle means more of a draw on your body's resources. In a real fight, what's more important is how you use your body, not what it looks like. Therefore, the question relates to the generation of force. How much force can you generate in your punch? Okay. Punching hard and fast relies on the ability to generate a large amount of force in a short period of time. To punch hard, you have to have the ability to accelerate your fist from 0 to 100 as fast as possible. But it's not just the acceleration that's important, it's the weight of your fist. Think of a heavy mass travelling at high speed. The mass travelling at speed hits with more power. It does more damage. A typical bodybuilder will struggle to generate this amount of force unless they enhance their kinetic chain. At an advanced level, to punch hard, you need to be able to disassociate the weight of your arm from your fist. Basically, your fist is a dead weight. Your arm is the whip. Think of a ball and chain. Now watch the bodybuilder here punching the ball. Oh, that's Note the how boy. He's unable to generate Fitness force addict. towards his fist. This is because he's not turning with his hip enough to create the whip. Essentially, he needs to relax more, to whip more. He's not completely using his kinetic chain to develop power, something you'll struggle with if you concentrate on bulking your body. Compare this to seasoned fighters. You'll see how they turn and generate force with a greater amount of torque with their like bodies. Like Mayweather. Now, I'm not saying big guys can't fight. Obviously, if a big guy gets hold of you in a grappling situation, then you're going to have a hard time initially. However, I will say if you can weather the storm, big guys do burn out quite quickly. That aside, it's more of an issue of functional Whoa, fitness. Whoa, she's sweating in the wrong places. They can generate enough force and momentum to accelerate an Olympic bar above their heads. Imagine that power could be harnessed to punch harder. In reality, the issue of whether bigger guys can punch harder relates more to the ability to move your body mass quickly over a short distance. Engaging the kinetic chain Damn. of movement between various joints, as in powerlifting. To do so, you have to have a degree of flexibility in your muscles and joints, 
And this is something a pure bodybuilder is unlikely to have, flexibility. So comparing to skinny guys, Bruce Lee would be a good example. He relied on the concept of short distance power. He contracted his muscle mass in a sudden fashion to generate an immense amount of force and power. In fact, he relied on a tremendous amount of speed as part of his equation for power generation. Smaller framed people with a higher muscle and twitch rate ratio are likely to generate more power than an oversized frame. So what's the takeaway from this video? Okay. It's not necessarily your size, but the way you use your body. Try to include as much functional weight training as possible into your fight training. Weight training is effective for fight training, but it's the way that you use them that counts. Overall, I wouldn't advise bodybuilding only for self-defense or fight training. However, I do suggest that you train your power development with weights, especially if you wish to punch harder and faster. Finally, to answer the question, can bodybuilders fight? Well, yes they can to a certain extent, but you'll seriously limit your ability to fight the larger you become. Thanks for watching. You're fighting someone half your size, so all I gotta say is, if you don't accept this fight, <laughs> you're done, man. You know, don't don't embarrass yourself like that. Oh man, guys, look. <laughs> Yo, I'll just say this. Pick with someone your own size, okay? <laughs> don't go fighting no bodybuilders, cause Yo, that's my disclaimer to you, cause when they knock your teeth out, yo, don't just... Matter of fact, don't fight, but I'll, I'll say it like this. I feel like size doesn't matter. That's what she said. <laughs> nah, but to be honest though, I feel like it does matter, but then it doesn't matter. Because it matters how you use it. You know what I'm saying? But then it, it's, it helps. How about that? Just like the, the same context as as a, a girl in in the in, like in the bedroom basically like it matters but then it's not the all in all you know what i mean so yeah don't go picking fights with huge dudes thinking like you're skinny and you're gonna win the fight nah just chillax all right <laughs> and anyways man yeah that's my time guys i don't know what to say it's like saying like can a chihuahua mess with the with the freaking bulldog i mean that's not gonna happen i i don't care how how kinetic the chihuahua is if that bulldog gets a hold of that chihuahua it's it's a done deal you know let me know your comments on that i don't know man that's just my take on it i could be wrong i've been wrong before but yeah there you have it gang gang leave a like subscribe and that's my time. Thank you for watching. And I appreciate you.